Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to solve some examples on three-dimensional array. The concepts related to three-dimensional array has already been discussed in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Let's try to solve this example. And in this example, we will try to understand another way of initializing the elements to an array and next uh, we will try to uh, uh, access the elements by using the array arithmetic so the concepts of arithmetic array arithmetic has already been discussed how the elements of an array can be accessed by using the array arithmetic that also we will try to understand in this class so far uh, uh, in our previous class we have initialized where we have discussed about the uh, three dimensional array there we have continuously so here the array is two columns, two column array, two column, two dimensional, uh, two dimensional, uh, two columns of two dimensional arrays and each column is going to have two rows and two columns. So this is the uh, declaration, the declaration states that, so how this array is going to be is, so it is going to have two columns of two dimensional arrays and each column each column is going to have two rows two rows and two columns two rows and two columns so this is how the array is going to be and uh, in the previous declaration so as it is two 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 by two by two uh, it is eight elements or uh, we can uh, we can uh, enter eight elements into this array and the initialization uh, in the previous initialization this is how we have initialized the elements continuously so the uh, compiler will initialize each element accordingly based upon the requirements of the array so the other way is to give the clear cut idea how the elements are to be so that is done by using these uh, uh, curly braces so this is the outer curly braces for the entire array and these two this this states that this is the first column this is the first column and these two curly braces are to state that this belongs to the second column and these inner curly braces these two are stating that this is the first row and this is the first column this is the first row and this is first column and this is second column similarly this is the second row this states that this is second row and this is first column and this is second column so this is how uh, we can divide this entire initialization into so how the elements will get inserted into the array is it is one two three four uh, five six seven eight and this is uh, block zero and this is uh, block 1 and this is row 0 1 and this is column 0 column 1 column 0 column 1 row 0 row 1 okay now we will try to access an element which belongs to the first uh, block 1 this is block 0 and this is block 1 so in this block we are trying to access an element which row and which column which row and which column is first row first row uh, in the sense uh, uh, row with number one this is the row first row is this one and this is the second row uh, the array indexing it is uh, this one and 0th column element 0th column element means this is going to be the output of the array so output of this statement so this is the element that we are trying to access so this is how by using the array name we can uh, array name we can access the elements the other way is by using uh, uh, array arithmetic so it is a plus one a plus 1 means again so a plus 1 means uh, the array address is for example uh, 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 here starting address of the array plus 1 means we are going to go to the second block so this is the block that we are trying to access plus 1 means within this block within this block the first row the first row and within that row the column is stated here so these stars are given uh, out of this uh, uh, so this parenthesis why this parenthesis is given so we have discussed in our two dimensional arrays 
so why this parenthesis are given means if the parenthesis is not given means uh, it is going to be a star 1 a star plus 1 so what happens with this is the uh, highest precedence is for star not for plus so star a means it is going to go for this element star a means it is uh, zero this block plus 1 means it will go to this uh, row okay so this 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 concepts are already discussed so this is how we can access the elements one by using and we are going to print the value of x and y x and y will get printed so it is going to print 7 comma 7 so the output is going to be 7 comma 7 uh, 7 so this is the output that we are going to get let's try to execute this on our computer and see how the output output will be displayed and uh, uh, we'll see how it is going to be here is our program so the same program uh, and uh, let's see the output the output is 7 7 okay so this is uh, this is uh, uh, this is all about uh, the example on 3 day three dimensional array hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching